All right, what's going on YouTube? I'm gonna be here calling a few lists that I have. We're starting off with a buyer's list, a Daytona's buyer's list, to see if we can sell one of these lots that we have available. But before I call these buyers, I need to upload the same list that's in my mojo. I need to upload it into Podio. Reason being is because as I'm calling these leads, if they don't pick up and I leave a voicemail, then they call back. That callback number that they're calling is tied to my Podio. So when they call back, their information on the lead will populate automatically. Then I know who called and I'll be able to call them back. If I don't import this list into Podio, it won't be able to pick up who called. It'll just be a number, then I'll be lost. I won't know anything. So I'm gonna show you guys how to import lists into Podio. All right, so you see here, I have my laptop. Now this is my Podio. Now if you see there's communication here, it's because someone called, right? But I don't know who called. It doesn't say who called. It just has their phone number. The reason being is because I started to call these sellers or buyers and I forgot to upload the list. So if I come into here to master contact, I can import an Excel. So I have my buyers list right here. It's about, it's not that many. It's like 30 something buyers or 40 something buyers in the Daytona area. So what I'll do, usually you would put first name, last name or whatnot. Now for these buyers lists, it's just a company name. And when you export it, the company name is in the last name. So we're just gonna take the last name, put it on the full name. Now, sometimes there's also an agent. So we'll take this and we'll put this in the first name area. That's neither here nor there. Now, this is the, ad, the property that they purchased. So we'll, we'll put this in the address section. Now I don't ever put any emails because uh, they're almost always wrong, but I have an APN or parcel number and there's no spot to put that. So I'll just put that in there. Now for phone numbers, we have mobile number one, mobile number two and so on. So you just want to continue to go add all the phone numbers in. What this is gonna do again, is if one of these numbers are the actual buyer and they call back, it'll see, okay, this number called in, it has to be this lead. And then it'll automatically populate all of the information into my lead. Then I can go in to my Podio and see exactly who called and I'd be able to call them back. Now that's pretty much all the information that I need to put in. From here, I can go into next and now items and master contact will be updated the following fields are identical i want to uncheck that and and no existing master contacts will be updated so that's fine we want to import all these import 42. Okay. so i do the same exact thing when i call seller lists in my mojo which is over here so i use mojo now instead of call tools. So I have to start making a couple of videos about that. But these are the lists that I have. Buyers for Daytona, then I have Daytona Beach list, D-Land, East Pasco properties, uh, Hain City, Indian Lake Estates. There's like, quite a few different spots. Each one of those has uh, from, you know, 400 to a couple thousand leads. Now I need some Daytona buyers. So I imported this list into Daytona. Now for some of these other ones like Hain City, you see, these are the possible sellers, which I'm gonna have to clear out. But yeah, these are the possible sellers. Now, if I call them and I leave them a voicemail and they call back, it automatically goes to my podio, which if I show you activity, you can see like this person Terry called in that was a prospect screening. It automatically goes into prospect screening. So anyone that calls in will go there. I'll get a notification and I can follow up with them. Now, if I didn't import that list into podio, then it wouldn't know who called. So that's importing a list. So now that I showed you that, we're gonna go ahead and call these buyers that are on that list.
excuse my appearance, this shirt is old. All of my uh, clothes is being washed right now because I'm actually going to cruise in a few days, two to be exact, or well, less than two now. And so I'm washing everything. And I got a haircut appointment for tomorrow. So those are voicemails, obviously, as you can hear. But I have a button over here on Mojo that allows me to send an automatic voicemail drop. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Nine, four, one, seven. Yes, I was looking for Naka LLC or Adrian Esposa. Uh, you're trying to call Naka LLC? Yeah, so um, I see that they purchased a couple plots of land in Daytona, in Daytona Beach. Okay, this, this okay, so you guys aren't associated with them or... If not, that's fine. I might have the wrong number. Okay, that's no problem. Wrong number. Wrong number. Hi, is this Michael or LPI Home Buyers? Hello? I'm sorry, I can barely hear you. Okay, is this LPI Home Buyers LLC? Okay, um, I might have the wrong number then. Hello, is this? Hello? 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 Hi, is this Mr. Singh? Hi, my name is Brandon. I was actually reaching out to you because I see that your company purchased a few plots of land not too long ago in Daytona Beach. Are you guys still uh, looking to buy more plots of land? Okay, no problem, man. Have a great day. sure why the it's so low hey is this our money group 
LLC. Is this the owner of our Amani Group LLC? I'm sorry. Hello, is this Affordable Cribs? Hello? Hello? Brandon trying to get in touch with TC Strategies. Hey, is this um, La Dre Group, LLC? No, I'm sorry, you got the wrong number. I'm sorry, sir. Have a great day.
Hey, is this Third Eye Development? Yeah. Hi, my name is Brandon. I was actually reaching out to you because I see that you guys purchased a plot of land in Daytona Beach. And I was wondering if you guys are looking to purchase any more uh, plots of land in that area. Okay, awesome, yeah. Okay, no problem. Because I have a few available that you guys might be interested in. So if you are, just you can always call me back at this number. Thank you. Have a great day. Hi, uh, you said this is a towing company? Yes, it is. Oh, I'm sorry. Is, do you want to happen to be uh, uh, familiar with Willem Supreme Builders, do you? Oh, not at all. Okay, no problem. I'm sorry, wrong number.